Hello! Today I'm going to be talking about one of the four main types of parallelism in computing, task parallelism, something that is extremely key in making programs run efficiently on modern hardware. The concept of multi-threading is the process of splitting jobs in computer code into multiple threads on the CPU core. Threads on a CPU core are virtual emulations of CPU cores so that the computer code software can talk directly to the CPU's hardware. Many times modern CPUs are going to have more than one thread per core. So this is a uh, two thread per core Intel CPU and when you're running on this chip multi-threaded programs are going to be pushing jobs that need to be executed in the code onto one of these 12 threads and when the program runs all of these threads are executed simultaneously and that vastly increases performance. So to visualize this, I made a chart demonstrating parallel versus non-parallel code. When you're using non-parallel or non-multi-threaded code, the computer is going to delegate all of the tasks that your code needs to do onto one long main thread. So each of these tasks are done one after another, just on this one thread. So let's say this task computes a mathematical equation needed to rotate a cube in Unity. This task actually applies that equation and tells the engine to rotate that cube. And this task maybe emits a particle from that cube or something, and so on. In parallel code, instead, the main thread is going to delegate those tasks to all of the threads on the CPU cores. So thread one is going to contain one task, thread two is going to take, contain another task, and sometimes there may be a line of tasks that a thread's going, need, going to need to compute. And these threads are actually able to uh, share data or results with one another, uh, indicated by the line going across here. And the important thing is that these are all done synchronously and it increases performance. Something else to also note is that this main thread is still going to be doing computations. It's just, it is also delegating these tasks to the other threads on the CPU. So how exactly is multi-threaded code more performant? Well, something to note is that CPUs are actually just as good at multitasking than doing one thing after another, unlike humans. So for example, complex math. Say you have math homework, bunch of problems, it would be super nice to be able to just do all of those problems at once. It would probably take you half as long. Well, that's just not really possible. But with CPUs, that is totally possible. So imagine you're in charge of washing dishes tonight. Now imagine you're a mutant with six hands who can wash four dishes at once instead of one. Obviously, that's going to be much faster. That's exactly how multi-threading works. So I've been talking a lot about multi-threading, which is kind of just the umbrella term for parallelism. And like I said, there are four different types of parallelism, with data and task parallelism being the two main ones used. So data parallelism as an acronym is SIMD, which stands for single instruction across multiple data sets. Task parallelism, on the other hand, is a little different because it can be two different things. The main key though is that both times it's going to be multiple instructions, sometimes across the same data set, sometimes across different data sets. And this can be MISD or MIMD. To visualize data parallelism, you can imagine rowing. So you have multiple rowers all doing the same thing to get to the same goal. Task parallelism as MISD can be visualized as say a game of soccer. So you have all these workers with the same objective, but they're all kind of doing different things. Task parallelism as MIMD could be kind of like a one field where everybody is playing a different sport. So C Sharp actually has a couple libraries used for task parallelism, namely system.threading and system.threading.tasks. I set up a quick console application that demonstrates task parallelism here. So I've set up three tasks that all run the same function, do work. However, they are a little bit different in that they have different arguments concerning thread.sleep time in between this first string that's printed and the second string that's printed. 
thread.sleep just tells the thread to sleep for X amount of milliseconds in this case. And we have 1,000, 1,500, and 3,000. So when I run this, you'll notice that it starts with 2, 1, 3, even though I have 1, 2, 3 set up here. And each time I run it, it's going to be a different order, 2, 3, 1, for these first three numbers, which just say task x is beginning, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2. And that's because the kernel, when you're multi-threading, is just going to pick a random thread to run. It's just going to be out of sequence. There are ways in C-sharp to make it in a specific sequence if you want. Um, so this is MISD task parallelism because you have different functions. They're different because of the sleep times with the same data. The data is just the strings that are printed. So that's my demonstration of task parallelism. Thank you.